Welcome to this Nutra Science Labs podcast. I'm Gene Bruno, Senior Director of Product Innovation for TCC Brands, including Nutra Science Labs, and formulator of hundreds of dietary supplements over the past 30 years or so, including several award-winning formulations. That either means I'm a smart guy or I'm an old fart who's been around long enough to have gotten at least a few of my products right. Anyway, in today's podcast, we're going to answer the question, how are creatine and whey protein different from one another? Over the next few minutes, I'll answer the major questions that consumers have about these products, answers that you should know as a brand owner. And hey, if you enjoy it, be sure to like, comment, and share this clip. So, creatine and whey protein are arguably the two most popular powdered supplements for helping to build muscle mass. But I bet you already knew that, right? Not surprisingly, people often ask, is creatine better than whey? The answer is no. Dumb question. Okay, it's it's not really a dumb question, but it uh, it is comparing apples and oranges. Look, they're both important and they both work very differently to help achieve the desired goal. Let's start by answering another question. What is creatine? Creatine is a non-protein amino acid compound found in red meat and seafood, as well as in our muscles. What are the health benefits of creatine, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Creatine plays a major role in helping to regenerate ATP, which is the energy currency of our muscles. The absence of creatine and therefore available ATP can cause muscle fatigue quickly in heavy exercises. The most commonly used supplemental form of creatine is creatine monohydrate. It's also the form of creatine most often used in human studies. And these studies have consistently shown that this supplement increases muscular creatine concentrations and helps improve high intensity exercise performance, leading to greater training adaptations, including increased muscle mass and strength improvements. So how does creatine actually help with improving muscle mass? That's the really cool thing. Research has demonstrated that the presence of creatine in the muscle seems to act as an anabolic signal for muscle building, whereby creatine acts as the chemical signal to combine increased muscular activity and increased production of muscle tissue. Likewise, the presence of creatine in the muscle also temporarily increases the water content of the muscle, giving it a pumped you up appearance. Of course, The short-term increase in water does not constitute an actual increase in muscle tissue, but it still looks good. The increase in actual muscle tissue comes later. Now, here's a quiz question for you to see how well you've been listening. Does creatine help A, regenerate ATP, B, increase muscle mass, or C, both? Write your answer in the comment section now and I'll give you the correct answer at the end of this podcast. Okay, now let's answer a different question. What is whey protein? Whey, first of all, is a byproduct of cheese manufacturing. Whey protein is derived from whey and provides a higher concentration of essential amino acids than many other protein sources. What are the health benefits of whey protein? We can answer that by taking a look at the main reasons why weightlifters and people looking to bulk up on muscles turn to whey for lean muscle. Here's the reasons. It's rich in branched-chain amino acids, typically containing 24%. Whey protein, particularly whey protein isolate, has the highest biological value among other proteins tested. There are multiple studies demonstrating its effectiveness in helping to build lean muscle mass as part of a training program. For example, recreational bodybuilders supplemented their normal diet with whey protein isolate or casein, which is another milk protein, for 10 weeks. The results were that those supplementing with whey protein isolate experienced a gain of 11 pounds in lean muscle compared to the one and three quarters pounds with the other protein the bodybuilders also achieved significant improvements in strength. The next question typically asked on this topic is, does creatine build muscle faster than whey protein? The answer is that this is the wrong question since these two sports nutrition powders have completely different functions. 
Essentially, creatine helps send the signal to the body that it's time to increase muscle protein synthesis, while whey protein provides the raw building material to be used in the actual production of that tissue. So, can whey protein and creatine be taken together? In fact, taking whey protein and creatine together has advantages. In a six-week, double-blind, placebo-controlled study, men on a strength training program were divided into three groups and supplemented with whey protein alone, whey protein plus creatine monohydrate, or a placebo. The results were that the men using the whey creatine combination gained almost nine pounds of lean muscle, while those using just whey protein gained five pounds, and those using the placebo gained about two pounds. So, whey and creatine together resulted in almost twice as much muscle gain as whey alone. Not only that, but the men using the whey creatine combination had a 17% increase in bench press strength compared to a 7% increase with whey protein alone. Now here's another quiz question for you. Which of the following is a true statement about whey protein? A. It contains about 24% branched chain amino acids. B it regenerates ATP, or C, both. Like before, write your answer in the comments section now, and I'll give you the correct answer in just a minute. So, when is the best time to take creatine, and when is the best time to take whey protein? According to the International Society of Sports Nutrition, the most effective way to increase muscle creatine stores is to ingest creatine monohydrate four times daily, which is exactly how creatine and whey protein were taken in the study I just told you about. All right, here are the answers to the quiz questions. The answer to the creatine question is C. Creatine helps both regenerate ATP and increase muscle mass. The answer to the whey protein question is A. Whey protein contains about 24% branched chain amino acids. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Be sure to like, comment, and share this clip if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like more of my nutraceutical industry insights and tips, check out my content on the NutriScience Labs blog. Simply click the link below in the comments section.